Hello everyone and welcome to your video on adding a long string of numbers. So I'm just going to give us a string of numbers um, and these are going to be pretty easy. You recognize all these numbers. These are not weird. This is what I want to calculate. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. There are 9 terms here and I want to add them all together. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I can do that. And before I even finished my uh, little line of numbers here, you had already punched them into your calculator, hit equals, and you know what the answer is. And that is great, good for you, I appreciate your enthusiasm. However, my goal for today is to teach you a new way of doing this because your string of numbers is not always going to be um, just nine terms. You know, what if it was like 9,086 terms? Then you wouldn't want to have to put all that in your calculator, would you? No, but we're going to start with this simple um, string of numbers and then we will see how that helps us if we have a long string. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this same string of numbers and I am going to rewrite my equation backwards. So I'm going to start counting down from 9. So 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Now you're saying to yourself, self, why did she do that? It's going to be the same answer either way. I know, I know. This is actually going to make life better. Because what I'm going to do is I am going to add these two equations together and you will see something start to happen. 1 plus 9 is 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. 3 plus 7 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Whoo! Now, what's amazing about this is not so much that you get the number 10, which just coincidentally happens to be a pretty cool number. Um, but what's interesting is that all of your terms now become 10. So in order to add up this purple line here of 1 through 9, here's what I could do. I could say I'm going to take 10 times 9 because I have 9 terms and then I'm going to divide it by 2. So 10 times 9, so that's all of that together, and then I divide it by 2 because I wound up doubling my equation up here, right? I, I took the purple equation and I added the green equation to it. And so now I want to reduce it back down. So I get 90 divided by 2, which is 45. So the sum of all the purple numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, is 45. Let's do another example just to see how you have this going on. Now I'm going to make it a little bit harder this time. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you 62 plus 65 plus 68 um, plus 71 plus 74. So that is one, two, three, four, five terms. Okay, good enough. So in order to get the sum of this without just plugging it in our calculator. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite our equation backwards. So this is going to be 74 plus 71 plus 68 plus 65 plus 62. And we're going to add it together and we get 136 for each term. So to calculate what the sum of this black equation is, I'm going to take 136 times 5 terms divided by 2. So when I whip out my handy dandy calculator and I do that, I get 340. And sure enough, if you put in your calculator uh, 62 plus 65 plus 68 plus 71 plus 74, you get 340, which is exactly what we figured out here. Now again, you're saying, huh, why would I ever do this? Well, 
let's do this. Let's say that we have a really long thing. We do 88 plus 98 plus 108 plus, and we keep going up to 408. So that is 33 terms. So if you are stubborn, you could pick up your calculator and try to put that all in there. But your um, chances of making a mistake at this point are a lot higher. So let's do it my way. I'm going to add 408, which is my last term. I'm going to add it to my first term. And that is going to give me um, 496. Now I could figure this out for every single term in the series, but I'm not going to because I know that they all turn out to be 496 because that's the beauty of the system. So I take 496, I multiply it by the number of terms, which is 33, and I divide it all by 2, and I get 8184. So if I add it up, or you add it up, 88 plus 98 plus 108 plus 118 plus 128 plus 138 plus 148 plus 158, and I kept going up until 408, when I added all those numbers together, I would get 8,184. So that is pretty cool. It works, by the way, this method, it works no matter how weird the distance is between your numbers. So for instance, if this were my equation, 7.5 plus 10 plus 12.5 plus 15, and that's, well, what is that? That's four terms. Oops. T-E-R, yeah, T-E-R-M-S. Um, that's four terms. This same method is going to work because, and this is key, the distance between the numbers is the same. That's a distance of two and a half. This is a distance of two and a half. This is a distance of two and a half. As long as you have um, a consistent distance between your terms, you can use this method. So again, I'll just write my things backward. I'm not going to write all of them because I don't need all of them. I'm going to add it together. So that is 22.5. Um, all of them are going to be 22.5, right? This would be 22.5, 12.5 plus 10, um, and, and so on. So to do my sum, I'm going to do 22.5 times 4 because there's four terms, and then I'm going to divide by 2 since I'm doubling my equation here. And when I do that in my handy dandy calculator, 22.5 times four divided by two equals 45. Oh, look at that, it's the same number as we started with. Huh, that's funny. Okay, so um, the sum of that equation is 45. And if you don't believe me, you could take out your handy dandy calculator and you can put in 7.5 plus 10 plus 12.5 plus 15 and you will get four terms. And guess what? You can do this all day long and it will work out every single time. So that seems like something useful to know.